This is James Fox with another video tutorial for Microsoft Excel. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a histogram in Excel 2010. Now here is the end result and I'll show you in a second how I arrived at this point. Uh, now before you start working you should already have your data and your bins set up. Now in Excel 2010 you need to have one thing installed in order for you to create the histogram and that is the data analysis tool pack and to install it you simply cl click on file and go down to options and when the Excel options dialog box appears you click on add-ins and you select analysis tool pack once it's selected go down to manage make sure that Excel add-ins is selected from the drop-down list and you click go now when the add-ins available dialog box appears make sure analysis tool pack is selected and you click OK and once you do that it's going to appear all the way on the right side under the data tab there it is data analysis now like I said your data and your bins should already be set up uh, in the Excel worksheet so to create the histogram once again you're going to select the data tab and then go to data analysis and when the data analysis dialog box appears you're going to select histogram and click OK now here we have the histogram dialog box and we're going to enter in information in three fields and we're going to select a couple of boxes the first box we're going to check is labels because we have labels on top of our data and we need the name for the bins then we're also going to select chart output chart output is going to create your histogram for you now you're going to click inside the input range field and then you're going to click on the label for the data and the easiest way to select all of the data is to press and hold control shift and the down arrow key and that will select all of the information in that column for you the next field is the bin range and the bin range is rather short so you can sw simply swipe the bin range and you're going to start with the label for it which is bins and go down to the last bin number and the output range now you want to select a cell for that and you can select any cell that you choose I like to, I like to keep my output range in the same worksheet if you want to have the output in a different worksheet simply select new worksheet uh, but I'm like I said I'm going to keep it in the same worksheet and then I'm going to click OK and here you have your histogram now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to delete where it says more and this zero because you see it's going to appear on the x-axis here so I'm going to delete more and zero and that's going to uh, erase more from the x-axis and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to format the data series so I'm going to select the data series then I'm going to right click on it go down to format data series and this dialog box appears and I'm going to lower the gap width all the way down to zero and as you can see there's no gap in between the series I'm going to close it and then we're going to do just a little bit more formatting I'm going to select format under chart tools and I'm going to select this drop down arrow and go down to this format uh, because I like that the shadow gives it a little bit more depth. Now you can format the graph a little bit more uh, as you please, but that's pretty much it. And that's how you create a histogram in Excel 2010. Once again, this is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.